So the Panathlon Foundation as a charity has been going for about 20 years. In 2009 we received our first grant from the St James Place Foundation. At that time we were benefiting about a thousand young people and we're currently working with St James Place Foundation to enable us by 2020 to get to benefit 20,000 young people and work in every county in the country. When Georgie was born, she was born with cerebral palsy. When she reached junior school, she was never involved in any sports. However, when she got to secondary school, she was introduced to Panathlon. It opened up so many doors and it changed her life. It changed my life too, because now I was looking at a happy child. In genius, I was bully. I wasn't picked for team, because I was slow. People would go down sick to where you get what she got. When a child with a disability is not chosen, and able-bodied children are, it knocks their confidence so badly. I brought my team um, here to uh, the Panathlon Challenge. Seeing the kids winning medals and collect the medals showed them that actually I can too. You could tell that that was something that they felt I participated and I got something. Without the support of St James Place Foundation over the last 10 years, we wouldn't be able to offer all these benefits to young people across the country. Now we have some sort of hope that Georgie will have a life. <laughs> Sorry. Before I couldn't see a future, and now I can. <laughs>